with the ban phase now. So this is Daddy's toys are going to be on defense. They get their first ban on attack. Um, what do you think we're going to see here? I'm thinking the usual ban, especially on coastline where Mira is usually a ball well, around defense. The well, they're banning the attack. Well, attack. So um. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna take a wild guess and throw out a Habana or a Jackal ban. We've seen a lot of Jackal bans from Rank, so I would. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's a standard, yep. pretty standard ban. Uh, that's a con. That's. That, I think that's a terrible problem on console too. It so, is. Yeah. I'm. So, I'm interested to see how the meta is different between the two accounts or the two different versions. Platforms. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll be interested. So for the second ban, uh, Habana is probably better tactically, but we might see a. Black we might Beard see a Monty even. ban as well. Oh, Monty. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna see a, a Blitz, Blitz ban. ban. That's interesting. I can see why they would do that. Yeah. I would have put the Monty ban, or I would have put the Monty over the Blitz. But, we can't um, hear any teammates. That might be a problem. I don't know if they had Discord running or how they're doing it. But we're going to get a response from the admins here in a second. Tell them to try all chat. Or they have to hold end game chat, maybe? Toggle? No, they... Oh, an echo ban for defense? Ooh, that might be a problem. Um, well, let's see what we're going to see on... Let's see if they have... This, the, remember, these are console players, so they might not even have Discord accounts. <laughs> this is also true. Oh, yeah, open mics to open. See what happens. For this last... Uh, oh, that would make sense because the controller... Because they can't use it because it's a... Oh, because limited a, buttons, speak yes. Speak talk. Or push talk. And like you said earlier, we're going to get that mirror Not band. able to be set up in time. Okay. So we see a mirror for the last ban. We're going to get back into the game. The admins are running out there to go try and get that problem figured out. Otherwise, I mean, if worse comes to worse, they're just going to have to use quiet the lobby and get some comms going. Yeah. They are in the open area, so I will yeah, wonder how the open there, the open mics might let some passive noise in. Maybe they'll be able to figure that out. Hopefully. Oh, we're seeing the lineups here. So I wonder if we're going to see a six pick here. Um, they have the both. They have a stand. They have a really standard setup for offense. Um, I wouldn't see a six pick happening here. We could see a IQ six pick to counter the Valkyrie. Ooh, that tell. is a very, very, very good point. But it looks uh, like nearly everyone's locked. I bet. You, yep, we're gonna stick with that. No six pick. Well, the six pick comes after the lock. Remember, we're playing in hookah. Oh, sorry. I, I believe. Nope, played no, no, we're yes. done. So hey, we've got a whole nine viewers today. A so hookah lounge hold for defense the first. And Was there a six pick phase there? Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, get my door. We'll get the door yep. real quick. Uh, so we have a couple players just standing on spawn. We might uh, be we setting up. Might be setting up the uh, mics. Oh, we're gonna be doing a rehost apparently. So we will. Um, I guess we're gonna stay here and talk for a little bit. I guess. So let's just look at what we have right now. We have a Blackbeard on attack with a the standard Thermite Thatcher, and we got a Twitch and a Zofia. So I think those are pretty. That's a pretty standardized pick there. The Zofia usually comes in to counter a Maestro of sorts, so they might. So we're trying to get. Why don't some you intel just change here. the Pro League rule set? Oh, okay. Yeah, that that could definitely be a problem. So they're gonna have to make Discord accounts. So, um, yeah, we're just getting it set up right now. We having some trouble with people hearing in game. So mic communication not coming through. Yeah, that'd be a bit of a problem. It would be I a think, bit I of a downer. I think Siege is a little bit of a, um, you know, you kind of need some comms for. Uh, Try to learn how to type in all chat real fast, oh, or sorry, team boy. chat. I hope. Oh, but they're on control, or so they'd have to. Yeah, that'd be a little bit of a yeah, problem. Yeah, that'd be that definitely. You'd see that as a problem. So we're going to be going through some uh, minor changes, minor changes. Uh, hopefully we get that back up and running relatively soon. Um, but in the meantime, we saw the standard. Um, where, where did they go downstairs? Bar, correct? They were on hookah, I believe. For oh, the, the, first hookah, the standard hookah setup. Yes. Uh, actually, I want to see because they didn't seem to be playing a maestro. I'm going to see if I can. I didn't. I didn't see a maestro myself. Get into a little. Go back oh, on the stream the and mouse. check it out. I, yeah, I'm having a little trouble with that. <laughs> Uh, but I I saw a smoke of Valk, so Valk is very powerful on Hookah because there's some nasty Valkyrie cams. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, are... Valkyrie is an, an, a very good operator on she is. Um, Coastline to begin with. Yep. I think Valkyrie is strong on the majority of the maps in the rank pool, being um, 
Can you hand me that piece of paper over there? Absolutely. We'll check, his, we'll check out the map pool here. The map pool in. So the map pool we have today is your standard Pro League map pool. It's going to be bank, border, clubhouse, coastline, consulate, cafe, and villa. And in my, my opinion, Valkyrie's strong on every single one of those maps. Maybe not bank as much as the rest because bank doesn't have as much of an outside game as – you know that what is I mean? true. Yep. So I have the operator selection pulled up here. Oh, so we, we see a Capkin, a Valkyrie, a Smoke, a Bandit, and a Dock for a hookah hold. So they're going to be holding some long angles mm -hmm. with that Dock. I, well, I, was, I was watching them during uh, warm ups earlier. Yeah. And what I saw was a lot of the um, you know, just standard setups with regular um, rotate holes through the bathroom. Okay. Um, all the, you know, the usual suspects. Yes. Of what you see. I think we are going to see a really, really standardized first round there because none of these picks are incredibly surprising. I would, yes. Um, uh, hookah is a very standard hold. There's really only two ways to play it. And you usually see, I actually, I am very surprised though to see that dock instead of a maestro because that is one of these standard. I didn't believe we had a maestro ban. Maybe we had an echo ban. Maybe that's something to do with the um, fact that they come from console. I, and the maestro, maestro might not ne be nearly as strong because of his gun. Yes. Because dock recoil. is a joke that. MP5 is easy to play on anything. Yes, yeah, very. But I feel like Maestro's gun's a little bit harder to um, work with on console. console. I, I cannot say I have experience. I can speak for that a little bit. I didn't okay. play a ton of Maestro, but I felt it was hard, especially after they nerfed the um, hip fire. Gotcha. Because I felt overall it just wasn't as accurate as it used to be. Okay. So it was. I thought it was hard to use on console. And we got, so. Um, but I don't think anything out of this is surprising. Capcan's a little different capcan is maybe preparing for a rush or even maybe a late take putting them closer to the site so i think what they're going to go for is they're going to play for the long game long game like, hold out for a while yep get the, the smoke end. for that yep uh bandit this looks like a late game composition is what it looks like and we have a bandit for the walls inside of pool yep and i'm surprised we didn't like i said i'm surprised we didn't have a six pick two a maestro i yeah i guess i, I would I would like to see a maestro instead of a dock, but they, I don't know. They could be getting aggressive with that dock instead of a maestro. And let's go ahead and go through our lineup here today. So here we have um, team – wait, they don't have the team names posted here. That's a little annoying. We have uh, Lord Okay, on the so left. yeah, we have Lord Genesi, Lord Sykra, Lord Cosmos, Lord Apocrycon, Apocrycon, and Ball – Baller up, one, two, three, four, five. The thing is, though, none of these people will be playing on their own accounts because, again, they come from console, yep, yep, which yep. is not transfer over to the PC. So the five of them are the game arena. You can see other game arena accounts. And the rest of them are also using um, spare accounts. The smoke is my account, actually. And then we have a couple alts in there. This is pulled up the, from the, the uh, stored video. We're yeah, just yeah, staring yeah. at the screen right now. So on attack, we didn't talk about it all. We have a Thermite, a Twitch, a Zofia, a Thatcher, and a Blackbeard. So I can imagine some Blackbeard play from the big window Oh, I can on tell Hoka. you exactly what's going to happen as a Blackbeard main. As a, <laughs> yeah, as as a, a Blackbeard, Blackbeard main, main, I can speak from experience. So here's what's going to happen. That Blackbeard's going to go right up on top of that window right now, and he's going to repel on Hookah window for the entirety of the round, if I had to guess. You think they'll be playing uh, Purple Tarps at all? Now that they did nerf Purple Tarps, which we I haven't even, seen in Pro I think they said you can't get it off Purple Tarps. I, I think they said purple you can't tarp, get on the... Yes, Purple Tarps is now walkthroughable. It is still a visual kind of thing that you can't okay. see through them. But if you try and get up on Purple Tarps, you will now go straight through them. Okay. Which is the first time we're seeing this in I a Pro League game. I don't think that's a major thing in console anyways. I don't so, know. Uh, yeah, I, I have no clue. I, I don't know the strategies. I haven't been on console in a few years. But I think we're going to still still see some relatively similar similar strategies because you can yes. do the same strategies either way. It's just a matter of how you pick gunfights. I think that would be completely different for them. Yes. So uh, one strategy we see employed on this coastline map is for going the thermite. Usually, a lot of times for nearly every site, we see no hard breach from you know pro league play. But a lot of teams will opt to bring a Habana because she is usually more useful than Thermite for the majority of the map. So for Hookah, mm -hmm. there are only a couple of walls that are useful to Thermite. One of them would be the VIP wall for yep. holding VIP watching into pool table. Another wall that would be better for Habana, though, is looking from that roof angle down yep. into... Well, I mean, in reality, Thermite can get to that. But repelling but is, is a little... incredibly risky. Yes. Um, I have been... I have may or may not have been killed multiple times during that <laughs> my time playing Siege, but... I think the Habana definitely does a better job. Yes. But I, I'm i curious to see how they're going to use this Thermite to their advantage. I agree as well because for Blue Bar, yep. even in Kitchen, there's some pretty good Thermite walls. Mm -hmm. um, but we are also upstairs. So yes. unless there's not 
like I said, there's not that many walls that are beneficial. I think Habana would do a much better job. Yes. I wonder if we'll be seeing any penthouse play because ever since like the bands with Mira getting banned outright nearly yep. in every single map, yep. penthouse become a lot less viable. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what the console plays to cool. see if we get any penthouse play. Well, I think what we're going to see today is we're going to see your standard um, two-side hold, and I, I see a light roam coming from uh, Capcan, probably no okay. further no further than a room or two away in the hallway. But I think we're going to see a heavy roam from that Bandit. I Yes, I think Bandit will be play, employing the set it and forget it mentality, yep, at least for Hookah, because there's not much of a exactly, point to Exactly, there's no reason to Bandit trick. Yeah, especially because um, for Thatcher... You have to throw that pretty deep in sight because you can't just rest it on that mm -hmm. wall. Um, we do see a Thatcher and a Twitch pick from the same team. Which with makes me feel like it's going to be – that might just be a fragging option Twitch, with yes, an F2 because F2. I feel like Twitch has so much more utility than she really – it's unbelievable how much utility she has. Yes. That Twitch drone's amazing even after they took it from what? What was it? 15 Seven, or – 15 or 17 shots? Yes. I totally forgot to about five. that. That That's was crazy, a huge and it's change. still amazing. But she still plays as all. She yes. still played more often. That than F two is arguably even after being nerfed like two or three times. <laughs> yet still arguably the best gun in the game. I'd say. Um, we've I've I've been a proponent of um, our fan few or our friend fuse. I think the AK twelve is the best gun in the game. AK twelve. It has the highest DPS. I will give you that. Uh, yes, that is what I was going off of. If you can handle the recoil, it's the best gun in the game. But I mean, headshots, one shot. Exactly. Rate of fire is king in Siege. We have some members in the Twitch chat. Pog. Pog. Getting to play the game out already. Yep. Pog. With the rehost. Yep. Plays the game. Um, let's check it out, actually. Um, some statistics really quick since we're sitting here talking about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We can just Google up what the uh, sites look like from yep. Pro League and see how often. I believe. Oh, AK-12 are pulling up the DPS. Yeah, that's, that's what I was checking out. So uh, we have the um, 44. 44 at that's a rate of fire of 850. F2, Rainbow Six, and we will see what we've got in that department. The thing is, though, that is still a three shot from its well, closest course, range still. It is a it's standard still a, 37. Still a three shot, though, is And the, the rate of fire, yeah. Well, either way, you're going to be downing three. Th those numbers are based on three armors, though. So they're that gonna, is true. Three speeds, I'm sorry. So it's going to deal seven, 47 damage per shot to a one armor under 20 meters. So where the F2 is going to deal three or Potentially another bullet, yes. Exactly. But in the end, it's still just an overall. It they're is both an amazing, amazing gun. I wonder if we're going to see any fuse play after the recent buff. The recent buff? Yeah, they buffed him in the recent patch. Uh, the deploy time for his oh, it's gadget. Oh, almost, isn't yeah, it? It went from two to one point five. Yeah. Which makes him a lot safer on that. I've noticed I get punished a little bit less for using those now. Okay. And we're waiting on a Discord setup, and we are very, very close to getting this party started. Yes, we see nine members currently loaded in. Eight of them are ready to up at least. So we should see the map starting here again in the next five minutes, maybe, hopefully, yep, hopefully if we're lucky. Hopefully. So while we're doing this, let's pull up some statistics from Pro League. Um, yeah, let's do that. And see what we should be expecting. That is... Probably want to throw an R6S in there. There we go. Oh, this is maps. Here we go. So this is for, I believe. Well, we're we need to pull. Oh, we're gonna pull useful. up some PC. The map is coastline. Bomb. We need to change our season as well. Most recent uh -oh. season. Oh, it's it's only on Velvet Shadow. Okay, apparently. so that's not very useful. But we'll be looking at some hookah lounge PC statistics. Okay, so attack. So I believe hookah lounge seems to be one of the most balanced maps, with. Most of the sites being a 50, 50 to fifty-one percent. Well, win rate I, I feel for like Coastline is one of our most balanced maps in the pro league. Yeah, see, I would agree. Because you see, a lot of teams think Coastline is their best map because Coastline is not that hard in reality. It, th yes, every site usually has a standard hold and a standard attack. Yep. And it's who can perform better shots, who can hold better angles. A lot of it comes down to winning gunfights as long as you do your job properly. Of course, and I do it in. I, I don't I haven't been watching a ton of pro league recently. However, I feel like we almost see in that site specifically, we almost see a frag out rather than an actual bomb plant. Yes, in a lot of coastline, I feel like a lot of the pro league gameplay, and I will say with all of the Bolo fans coming in, mm -hmm. a lot of the pro league gameplay has turned into we know our sites, we know how to hold everything. 
who has the better gun skills. Yep. Because we've seen, I don't remember the player specifically, but we've seen a lot of people who have been known to be support players being dropped from a lot of teams for what could be considered more fragging players. We saw that with um, Team Solo Mid. With their most recent drops and pickups, they g- got more fraggers than support players now, which seems to be the new norm and might be the new meta for all of Siege in general, as long as you're at high-level play. Okay, so here's our most recent statistics from the Siege Masters uh, 2019 infographic for Coastline. It appears that you have a 16. Is that what that's saying? A 16 times higher chance of winning on defense Coastline? Coast, no, it, so Coastline has been played 16 okay, times yeah, 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 in yeah, Pro League yeah. so far. So it, so it, so Penthouse in Theater has a 74% win rate for the defenders. For Is that defender or attack? That is, says for that defender wins. Defense wins. Season, that says 2019. That was from was scroll season. down. Oh, this is also from the ANZ region. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still. Just go to siege.gg and pull it up. You can see the infographic from. That's where it says that. This is siege.gg. Can, yeah, we, we can look at the. Th- 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 this was the most recent map stat. Oh. This is with Orgless Rhythm, ACME, Mind Freak, Fanatic. Sinister. So it's a legit. This is a legitimate. This is, th- this I think this is one of the most recent ones. So we have Coastline. We have a seventy-four percent win rate on Penthouse and Theater. Th- that's surprising. Well, no, I, I feel like that's it's, that's just like with um, every map has that one. It's almost a gimme on defense, just like um, Penthouse and Theater. I always thought was more attack biased as long as Mirror was banned. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I will be leaving to play my match now. Well, go- best of luck so, to you. Thank you, sir. Have fun casting. Yep. See you later on the... Uh... I'm not going over there. I'm still oh, you're going to leave? Oh, come on. Get over here on the camera with me. Well, for the meantime, I'm going to... Ha- uh, I guess I'm solo casting for now. Um, I, don't, I have no idea what to talk about right now, Pegasus. Okay, here we go. We got the band phase kicking off now. So we're going to be getting some, uh, once again, it's the same thing, Daddy's Toys banning first. Um, I feel like we're going to see the exact same bands that we just had earlier because we're going to do a replication of earlier because we had t- uh, technical, diffi- te- technical difficulties. So we'll probably be doing the exact same bands. So we're going to see the Jackal band just like we did earlier. All right, and we're going to see that blitz band again once again, which I think I think we're going to see all four of the exact same bands. Um, are we holding them to their original bands, uh, or are we letting them change them up? They should stick with them, but... Okay. I'm not going to pay attention to that. Fair enough. So, um, once again, we get another ban here from the Lords on defense. I think we're going to see the Mira ban here. No, we're going to see the Echo ban, that's right. And we're going to get the Mira ban from um, Daddy's Toys. And I'm willing to bet we're going to see that um, hookah billiards pick first round once again. And then I think we're getting our second match started up over in the um, on the main stage, being OSU versus Purdue, which I'm excited to see how that pans out after we're done here. Do you have anything to chime in over there? Uh, not in the oh, uh, that's not very... I'm in now. Ah, there Should you be able are. to hear me. Hi, it's yep. Pegasus on the mic. How's it going? If you tune into the Game Arena streams, you'll know me, at least somewhat. Go Team Daddy Toys. Ah, thank you, Chad. Ooh, I forgot to write down the... Uh... Oh, wait, we're on the wrong one. There we go. All right. <coughs> oh, it still set the Team Unicorn and Team Pegasus. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, what is it? We got uh, Lords, Daddy Toys... Yeah, uh, red and blue, technically, but it's red and white. Okay, so, like, oh, we have a different pick this time. I'm, um, we have the IQ pick this time instead of the, um, I don't know what their, uh, original pick was. Blackbeard. So we're going to see the IQ instead of the Blackbeard. Um, so it looks like we're going to get the standard reinforcements on the backside. Oh, and we have a Doc, this, or a Rook this time instead of the Capcan. So they changed that up as well. And we're going to see the frost mats inside the windows, which frost is going to be a... I don't know how I feel about frost on the um, 
from the top floor here. Um, uh, it's pretty good. It depends on if they're bucking out the floor below. So they don't really. The Lords didn't take anybody for the vertical play, as far as I can tell. Um, they are probably going to clear out uh, that uh, Sunrise Bar. Make sure there's no uh, nothing inside Hookah. They're probably going to go for the Hookah plant. Um, we'll have to end up waiting and finding out. But <coughs> and here um, we go. Yeah, let's get started. So we're going to see a three. Three spawns in the main entrance, and we're going to have a run out from the dock first round to start off. Interesting, um, bold way to start the game, right? Risk losing a man in the first couple seconds on a spawn peak that yeah. everybody does oh. every single time. This is a shot. Now, th mind you, these are controllers, so their aim might be a little bit smoother. And we're going to see the pick right off the bat. Yep. Pretty aggressive. We got a pick by Valkyrie there. No replay on that, though. Oh, he's gonna get two, I believe. Oh, hitting holding, the wall there. Holding the tight, holding a tight peak. The two of them need to probably not be yeah, peeking Baycog, right, yep. but they're gonna do it anyways. X and C picking up two. Three hit, three. That's two. Valkyrie got the other kill. Oh, Valkyrie did. My yeah. apologies. And it looks like Doc is probably X and C is probably not gonna find IQ out in the balcony yet. I'm sure she knows he's there at this point because he shot down the doorway. Yeah, might see her run out from below. He's thinking about it. Yep. Attackers have dropped the bomb. Okay. Diffuser. Yeah, they can do their own stuff. So. Ooh, good kill on there. Good kill there by Fabled. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> oh, and that's the round. That was a really quick round. Flawless round coming out from Daddy's Toys. We're off to a strong start. Or a strong, strong start. Wow. <laughs> You're yeah, right over there. A little bit of a there. Um, not surprised. We got the <laughs> Doc and the Rook. The Doc and the Rook going um, with the top frags there, if I saw that correctly. But this time, we're going to see the Blackbeard come out, um, just like the original. This was our original setup last time, except we're going to have the Ash instead of the um, Thatcher. Yep, still not taking anybody for that vertical play. There's a lot of vertical play you can do. Um, maybe not. It depends on if they're going VIP or if they end up going Kitchen. Um, I know a lot of the PC players end up like to go Kitchen. We, we are see... going Kitchen, as you can see at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking more at the 6 yeah, pick there. of course. Switching off the Legion going for Jaeger. A little more aggressive. Probably going to try and spread out more since, like I said before, they're not really going for any vertical play. I wonder if the whole 6 pick, given Defenders that these two teams were from console, I don't think they do attackers. 6 pick in tournament play in console. Uh, I don't I don't know about tournament play, but... I know they don't have a way to do 6 pick, period. Yeah. Which I don't think we even have six pick on ranked in DC yet, do we? No. I it's j it's just it's just the pro league, it's just pro league custom settings and okay. all that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, and it's back to me. So what we've got, um, we're working on getting the other game set up right now on the Ohio State versus Purdue, which is going to be a very very good game. Given as we said earlier, Purdue came from five miles away today to come watch the um, to come play here against. These five, five other teams left. we have signed up today. Um, so what we're looking like we've got a relatively similar setup to last time. What we're going to have is we're going to have the frost mats in the doorways, barbed wire on the main entrance. Looks like we're probably going to be having Doc play in between A and B site, holding that angle on the um, service door, given that is where m most of the teams like to come peek from. I think what we're going to see here, given this... Uh, well, actually, we don't have any smokes, and we're going to find two on the spawn. X and C finding um, Twitch, or Twitch or Blackbeard. Having a Blackbeard die that early is going to be very, very tough for Lords to come back from that. Yeah, Daddy's, uh, or, uh, Daddy's toy is making a lot of stuff happen really early on. Um, didn't get to see how he got picked off there, but uh, or how either of them got picked off. And there we see another one. Um, we're gonna see yeah, Frost, and Frost is gonna find the table. Is gonna find the kill. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm gonna find that kill. Um. Breaking yeah. It looks armor. like they're just playing ultra aggressive. They're not like uh, lords aren't really holding any angles on anything, waiting for peaks or pushes. They're kind of just trying. I don't know. They're just peeking everything basically. Um. I wonder if we're gonna see a run out from that. Oh. I think we're gonna see a gunfight here Defense. very soon. I can't get right. to it. All right, Doc's gonna run out, and it doesn't it's matter. A different He's collapsed one. on from two different angles. Yeah. I don't think any. There was nothing he could have done about that. He was stuck between three, pe two or three people right there. Yep. Had Valkyrie not gotten it, Doc was already on his way out the window with that nasty A cog on that MP5. All right. So Daddy's Toys is gonna be up 2-0 to start. 
Um, we don't have it across the top, but we can see it there at the yeah. top of our screen. Um, and I think let's see how we do on our setup this time. Um, oh, we're gonna get ooh, a we got a fuse. Well, that wasn't a choice. That was because the timer ran out. Oh, oh he could, they can six pick off of it. Yeah, they got a twitch and a fuse off of the timer. I guess they just weren't expecting the round to oh, go that quickly. No, I think he picked it. Did he? Yeah, he's not six picking it. Well, not he isn't locked in just yet, but he might be six picking. We'll find out. No, it pops up as soon as they do okay. the six pick. Yeah. And we're gonna do a, we're gonna see a six pick switch from the Jaeger or from the Bandit to a Jaeger, given they have a fuse. Which yeah, um, it really looks like they're just trying to take gunfights here. Daddy Soy is um, just not giving any chance for Lords to even get in the building. And I mean that's a, that's a strategy. If you can't get in the building, you can't plant and you can't win. That's the de that's what the defenders have the advantage because the attackers have to come to them. Bomb located by attackers. Right. Um, also, the dock and the rook is disgusting. I would like to. So, one thing that we notice is that the uh, lords tend to just focus on the site rather than trying to clear out any of the roamers or anything like that. Um, I'd like to see them try and push from a different site. My guess is we're going to see a run out. Um, that fuse is probably going to die on the window. Yep, and we're going to see a run out from Jaeger here to the. To the nope, I'm not going to run out. He's just going to come to the doorway. Yep, just peeking it. Um, I don't think we have any spawn peaks going right now. Um, it looks like everybody's sitting on default cam. Yep. Oh yeah, definitely. He's gonna run out as he's soon as he hears the repel. It. He's gonna look for the repel and hold the repel. Defender has left the area okay. Of and I think we just lost the stream. We lost the stream. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's good. Okay. Don't watch that one. Area. That should just be chat oh, no, just it over. Oh, uh, couldn't get anything out of it. it takes a bit of damage. The fuse he also takes damage. Yeah, he. The so Fuse definitely losing that trade there. Right, XNC coming out of the top. Falcon Claps is going to find our first kill against the Blackbeard. That was out the front door. I, that might have been a run out. Um, and it oh. looks like we're going to already see another run out from yep. Slaps and Claps here. He's going to run out. And slapping and clapping. Anything? He is going oh, he does to, see him. He isn't him. able to they get it, though. Neither still of them sticking. are able to hit. He's still sticking. <laughs> there All we right. go. And we're gonna the Twitch able to pick up the kill on the Valkyrie there. Is that the there. first death on Daddy's Toys? Uh, that is the first death. That's what I thought. No, yeah, that's the first yeah, death. Yeah, that's the first death, and it's on a run out that he stayed way... <clears throat> he overextended know. on the run out. He was, he was out there for a lot longer than he should have been. Yep. Um, in that situation, what I think would have been better to do is run back in and go out a different window. Granted. Um... Twitch looking to find somebody out of place in the hallway. Probably not going to find it. XNC picking XNC up another gonna kill. XNC is going to pick up another kill against Fuse. Finish that kill off from earlier. XNC going to break the armor that's already empty. Freaking out a little bit. Um, Teabagging in the, tea bagging in <laughs> yeah, the shower. Yeah, not too much happening. Um, we're just seeing people get picked off everywhere. Like, Twitch barely is going to able to get in the building. Oh, and he's going to fight the dog, and he's not going to get him. Doc's gonna snap to his head and drop. Yeah, him. that is not the way you want to peek that. You just want to try and be repelled at the very top of it, get minimal line sight or line of sight. You also don't want to <laughs> hang there like that. Right. Yeah, especially repel. Really, yeah, you definitely really want to have the upside down repel. That was really impressive from our doc there, being able to oh, one there's a run out. and win that gunfight. And Daddy's Toys with the run out is going to close out the round. It's three rounds. Now, we are playing best of ones here. I don't know if they mentioned it already. Are we but playing first? To, yes, the group stage is best of ones. Is it first to six? Uh, it's ten rounds, so first No, to no, it's seven. It's 12 rounds. I thought the Pro League sheet said... Okay, never mind. No, no, it's uh, 12 rounds. Thing. Yep. So we're going to see a first to seven here, and we're already up 3-0. <coughs> Um, in Daddy's Toys favor, so we're gonna be switching it up here after this round. It'd be very impressive to see if we could um, see if Daddy's Toys is able to get a 4-0. Well, honestly, the way it's looking, we might see a 7-0. Um, the Lords are gonna really have to. I think they really just need to hold angles on stuff. Let Daddy's Toys try and peek, and hopefully they hit their shots. Um, with the way of how aggressive they're playing, um, I'd also like to see a lot more trading going on, uh, grouping up with each other. Um, Maybe I mean I would like to see more vertical play, but they're I don't think they have a person that plays Buck or owns Buck. Maybe who knows? Well, we know they um oh well yeah on that department we don't know. Odds are, wait these are all they have all the gamer in accounts and don't they have all the operators? Mm, I don't know which ones they have. Wow. I didn't set up the accounts. Ah uh, okay. Yeah. I would I would like to hope so, but we don't know. Um, but we do know all of Daddy's Toys has majority of the operators. Um. At least two, maybe three of their accounts do. The yeah. um, looks pretty standard so far. We're getting, blowing the hole, the rotate hole down to cool vibe stairs. 
Um, and we are getting to see Hookah Lounge again because remember, as a pro five league rules, you can go back to a site after two rounds, correct? Uh, I believe, yeah. No, uh, maybe three. It's two or three rounds. Well, it has to be. But yeah, this is round four, I guess. So yeah, so we're going to get to see this take. And if I remember correctly, the first round was very decisive in Daddy's Choice favor. Um, are we getting, I'm, in, I'm wondering if we're going to see the spawn peak again. Same stage mm, spawn We might. Peak. It doesn't, oh, uh, didn't it want doesn't that look one. like we're going to get a spawn No, he doesn't either. have a Jaeger on it this time, so. Yep, we're just sticking with the standard, um, same setup from the original. Blackbeard's going to decide to go and peek the window, see what's going on. Get detonate the window <laughs> right, and go elsewhere. He's going to be peeking the window. He's not going to drone. He's just going to go in, see what happens. All right, and we're getting our original uh, talismans coming back to commentate with us. Unfortunately, not done down. Or sorry, my game just finished downloading, but one of my teammates is not. So, so oh, and we're gonna see. We have had we have a really good game going here so far. Yeah. Um, so I just glanced at the screen a couple times. It looks like we have a pretty dominant defensive side, which is kind of expected on this, I believe. But I think it's also a matter of the play styles. I don't think. Lords is taking their time. What to an angle. Oh, oh my god. That, oh, that wasn't that trade. Okay. That is an interesting. That was an outside peak. That was from somewhere else. Oh, that was a yeah, run that, up yeah. out of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't um, that wasn't that window. If that was that window, that would have been really impressive. Yes. Um, I thought that would have. It looks like we might see the run out from the Valkyrie here again. From the downstairs. Um, she's keeping tabs on that Ash. Oh, she oh, might be. Go. Nitro cell, possibly? Are we going to see a Nitro cell? No, she's toss? back on her cams. Uh, I so think we're going to see a Nitro. Oh, oh no, we might no. just see a death. Oh no. Oh, it might miss it. Oh no. That nope. he's gonna find that kill. That's diffuser down as well. He knew he was there from the get-go. <laughs> okay, so game um Zofia is gonna be peeking that again once again. Oh, oh, Twitch is gonna miss the kill there with the F17, which is an interesting weapon choice. Um I don't know. So we've seen a peek from the dock. Oh, oh, oh taking that. That Twitch was an down. unfortunate miss for Twitch. That looked like he it was doesn't, an X oh, shot right there. He does know, okay. Yeah, I'm sure he knew. So we're going to... Yeah, so... so oh, you have to use the sound. Yeah, you have sound cues, yep. just knowing how much damage your bullets are. Oh, and a peak up top. Wow. That is nasty. We'll see that in the replay now. Great kill by Tomahawk. Er, a, yeah, an yeah. amazing kill by Tomahawk. Oh, look at that. With the better angle for Zofia, in my opinion, when you're peeking down, it's usually he in favor of. Uh, there's no reason Zofia should have lost that. That was just an unfortunate. But it was a 1v4, so yeah. we were going to expect. Well, I mean, in that, that peak right there, we're going to get to see it here on the replay here. And he just happens to – he knew. He knew exactly he where knew. he was. I wonder if it was on the Valkyrie cam. Go Team Daddy's Toys. Go Team DT. Yes. We're supposed to be impartial here? So, Well, no, I'm reading out of the uh, Twitch oh, chat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We so, have some favorability apparently in the Twitch chat. <laughs> so let's see what we're going to see set up here. We're seeing the exact same setup that we just saw from uh, – Daddy's Toys. We're seeing the Valkyrie, which is a standard pick on the map, in my opinion. We're going to see the Frost come out. Frost? Is that been, I haven't been seeing that. Wait, weren't, been, these ta weren't these supposed to switch? No, they switch at six. Six oh, per I side. Oh, I forgot it switched. Pro six, League settings, four. yes. Yep, that's, why I, that's why it's 12. Yep, that makes sense. Yep. My bad. I was. I don't know where I was pulling four from. But um, point being said, we're going to see the now. exact same setup that's we had originally a downstairs. A lovely up top of you. Uh, so we have kitchen this time. They're reinforcing the entirety of kitchen wall. It looks like service wall as well. Twitch drone. Doc's gonna find the twitch drone because he's going for the shots oh, that's rather an than early pick. That's brutal. Losing the five shots. The only thing. So let's take. Let's take. Let's break this down for a second, okay? So the only thing Twitch can get is because the Valkyrie cans are gonna be outside. So you're not gonna get him with the twitch drones. Okay. However, the only interior defense you have to worry about is Jaeger. And yeah. how much do they? Are but they they're being Zofia, frags? though. Well, they also have Thatcher, so we have to remember that. So they could Thatcher out some, or the Thatcher could get taken out. Or they're burning them with Zofia. I don't know. But I what are you like burning you would... them for? Because you don't have any nades coming exactly. in. No frags. So The only thing it's coming from is from Zofia. Jaeger almost feels like, although his gun is amazing, and his gadget is universally almost needed, against an attack composition like this, I would almost say you don't really even need his I would have six-picked off the Jaeger. Yep. I would have six picked off the Jaeger for something in favor. We're gonna oh, see. We're gonna see two early, early kills. Picks. Was that a? That wasn't a spawn peak. That just happened to be. He peeked out the um, service door, and he's gonna find the um, Twitch 
Rook taking these Pop, peaks. Almost finding Thermite. Uh, Thermite managed to get away without any damage on him. Thermite's getting ready to peak. Oh, he just missed it. Tomahawk looking away just a second too soon. As the... I believe that's Blackbeard is at the front Peaking door. Main. Yes. Coming right in. Tomahawk. Oh, oh gotta Blackbeard find the Blackbeard. Killed. By Jaeger on the run out. Thermite's getting ready to go peek the same angle. I don't think he knows Jaeger's in that corner, so he's about to find him real quick. Jaeger's going to come out, and he is going to win, lose the gunfight, so Thermite oh, is up. That was a full mag we saw spray at the Jaeger. Oh, yeah. He yeah, luckily got the injured. It is now a 1v4, though, unfortunately, as Valkyrie takes out Rainbow 6 Oh, we're about to see. Oh, he missed the run out. Thermite walking away right as Doc comes out the front door. Doc's coming out the front door for round two. Oh, Thermite doesn't see him, and oh, he's going to get the he kill. He got distracted by the second run out from yep. Kitchen Window or near Sunrise Bar, so he couldn't look at both of them at once. That's the same thing we had the second round. Was Thermite it? was the last one standing. Guy came out the window, and the other one came out the other side. We're seeing fantastic plays by Daddy's Toys coming out the door in a completely dominant 5-0 game. Ooh, yes. And we're seeing a lot of roaming from the one speeds with ACOGs. We see them. They were roaming... 90 hallway, I believe, last round. Yep. They were roaming VIP a little bit. Oh, we're going to see one of my personal favorite operators. It doesn't see a lot of play, Mr. Vigil there. Um, I might be seeing my favorite Pro League skin on my Vigil. So I hope we get to see that. And we're seeing a penthouse hold. So where would that Vigil be? Oh, we're going to six pick to a Tachanka. Oh, no. The BM Doing comes dirty. out. The BM. Oh, man. That, I, I, mean, I mean, when you're up 5-0 in a dominant game, and I think... Can we get the leaderboard for just a second? But I think there's been a total of three deaths three. for get... Daddy's Toy this entire game oh. in a course of five rounds. That is... So I'm sure Daddy's Toys is feeling themselves, and they're going to go into the second round feeling themselves ready to go. But what they are not ready for is they're going to be playing against the winners of Purdue and Ohio State. Which in, will be on mouse and keyboard. Which will be mouse and keyboard players versus the controllers, which I'm excited to see how that plays out. I'm wondering how much... If it's going to come down to strategy or if it's going to come down to gunfights at that point. Because I have only been seeing, I think, two or three of these games. Ecstasy is the best player in Columbus. Um, well, Ecstasy. Is Ecstasy playing? Ex yeah, he's playing on the... W which account is he on right now? Five seconds remaining. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is he on his he's own on account? He's on his own account. Okay. Attackers so wait, are we so actually playing against... Five. Wait, is Daddy's Toys oh, a mouse and keyboard team? Let's look at this real quick on stream. Oh, we're going to see we the spawn Tachanka peak with the Tachanka. Spawn peaking. He sees him. He's he going to find the kill it. on GA oh Rainbow 603. Oh, my gosh. We're going to lose the Twitch to the Tachanka spawn peak. How dirty. is And with the new Pro League rules, he, you are not allowed to spawn peak within 10 seconds. He got that just at league? 11 or 12. Yes, so the new rule is you cannot spawn peak within 10 seconds of the attacker spawning. And how, are they in, how do they enforce that? Uh, if you do it, you lose the round. Is that, Automatic loss. Is that in our rule page? But either way, it was at 11 seconds exactly, so it counts And we're getting ready to see a battle between the Doc, and, and he's going to find the Thermite, not on the trade. Uh, uh, oh, Doc walking away unscathed. We're getting ready to see another gunfight oh. between the Ash and the Doc. He's going to run out. He's going to find the headshot, and there he goes. Doc's Very go. aggressive play from this Doc. Oh, he's get, he just saw him. We're going to see another gunfight. Zofia, is he, does Zofia know Doc's there? Defender. Doc's going to run out and get the headshot, and there goes the That's three kills Ash. for the Doc. It's another and 1v4 again. Last right one off the standing bat. is Blackbeard. We have two minutes left, and it's a 1v4 already. Yep. And the only one down is Legion, which is really unfortunate. Doc's on the run out. He, is he going to find the Blackbeard? He Blackbeard broke the shield. shield. Blackbeard down yeah, to about shield 40 health or so. He still knows he's, he's there. He's so confident. Oh, but he gets killed. And he gets... There's he so deserved that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much so. What do we got going over there? Cal begs really hard to differ. Oh, oh so Barca. we got so then we got some Ohio State. We so have OSU fans. Barca is on my Rainbow Six Siege team. Uh, OSU Scarlet oh, along with Pegasus here, Daddy's and we're gonna find the kill the on the run out by Doc. A flawless defense. Was that a 4K? From, that was a 4K from Ken. Yes. And he had oh. no idea. So we're gonna Brutal. see a 6-0 going into the side swap here. Um, I'm wondering if Lords is gonna be able to make the adjustments they need to maybe turn this into a six. 6-0 sweep. So I will say, from my point of view, as long as you keep the defense strategy the same, you do it right, I believe defense has a very good chance of being stronger on this map. Yep. But we've seen just how... I don't, think, I don't think it's strategy in this. I think this is a very, very, very lopsided skill-based. And I'm toys. wondering, I think this is actually... Oh no! Some of the no, they have they are all controller plays. That's right. 
Um, Daddy's but toys. But that's interesting because yep. XNC, these are most of them are controller players, but XNC has his own account. Because the other four are playing on Game Arena and our account. Is XNC on mouse and keyboard? Is he playing controller? I don't know. But I he mean, has his own account. He so maybe he plays controller account. on PC. Po possible. So Daddy's oh, toys. Okay, so that explains that. If we could get the scoreboard, we might be able to. Hey, can we get the scoreboard real quick? Because I know Slaps and Claps is um, our admins, and Fable Achilles is my own. So maybe we the other three are the uh, actual PC players to begin with. Maybe. Wait, yeah, Daddy's Toys are, um, well, I guess they have PC players that just use controllers from what it sounds like. Because I know three of them, the two of them are using controllers for sure. I'm getting some info that Tomahawk is mouse and keyboard. So we see a couple players on Daddy's Toys not using controllers. And so it's a, it's a split team. So we were a little bit we were a little bit off in our comment there. But we know Lords is. Yeah, Lords is full controllers. Which so, I'm not going to make a statement, but maybe that has some influence on how this game is turning out. We do see a castle being played. I know Fable Fables dabbles with controllers. No, I do not. Get uh, out of here. Um, Barker, last time I checked, I carried Early you pick the from the game, ash you know. onto the pulse, so that yeah, is a lot of game. intel taken out underneath, I believe. Slaps and claps going with a really aggressive play here. Gonna oh. bust into Hookah. Oh no. Oh, he sees. Is he gonna find the. Player? They have controlled Hookah almost now. With the pistol. And he's gonna find the kill. Slaps with and claps the music. is definitely on mouse and keyboard, we so can tell. They're there's planned. nobody on site. They're just gonna go they're for the rolling. plan. Everyone's off site. And site is locked up with the castle barricade. Attack now the defenders action. are gonna have to retake as if they were attacking. Oh, will we get and a pick? And Bandit's going to um, find the kill on the Ash. Um, Bandit actually is... Uh, Jaeger's also going to find the kill. X and C is going to grab the, um, grab the pulse, I believe. <gasps> All right, so this we are in a 2v1, but the defenders two, have to retake the site against... It's 2v2 right now. Oh, it's 2v2. I'm, my apologies. We so, have two people in sight holding that bomb. We have two people trying to take... Oh, going to find the kill through the wall. Great, great kill. But the castle barricade is blocking the rotate, so they the know where he will be coming from. The only way to get through the rotate from. hole. And we're running and out of time no on the time clock. And there's no time left. And oh. Tomahawk's just going to find the double and close out the game. With 7 a perfect 0 sweep 7 by Taddy's Daddy's Toy. However, Lords put up a great round. That was a great, much better round. However, I think their downfall there was that Castle Barricade right there. I believe... Oh, so from that specifically, that Castle Barricade is a lot more harm in the rotate than it is help. But I think how this came down to is winning fights. And I'm not going to say in a blanket statement, but it seems like the but people... But let's take a look at the score. So we had Slap. Slap and Taps did... was playing on mouse yep. and keyboard. Tomahawk was playing on mouse and keyboard. And Eggs and C was playing on mouse and keyboard. So Ken, we don't know. Yep. He could be on controller, could be mouse but and keyboard. But 7 and 1 is still impressive. Let's look at the... We can just look at the numbers and see how that panned out. But Barca, I am on the mic today, and somebody's using my account because they didn't have one. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so yes, it seemed to be very dominant. Well, sorry, it didn't seem it was very dominant by DT, by Daddy's Toys. They knew what they were doing. I think, it seemed to me, they were almost playing like they were playing ranks. Yep. That's they it. were just taking fights, and they were winning them. They were playing it as a, I don't want to say, I don't think we were seeing pro, le pro league tactics. Oh, we were seeing ranked not. play tactics. You are 100% correct. But that is, 